Assalamu alaikum everybody. I hope you are all fine, safe and healthy. Today we are going to start with Unit 6, Tux Paint. We have discussed a few topics of this chapter already in the class, but I am begin start going to begin with the start. Today we are going to discuss in this lecture, page number 82, 83 and 84. What is Tux Paint? Basically, it is a software-like paint, similar to paint, just like all of you have used paint. It is used for drawing, coloring, lines, shapes, drawing paintings. Similarly, Tux Paint is also used for drawing and painting. It has an additional feature, which is some special sound effects when you select different tools or when you draw or when you erase. So it has that additional feature and some other additional features as well, which we will study in this chapter. So once you install and download and install Tux Paint into your system, there are two methods to start it. One is from the start menu. You go to the start menu and then there is Tux Paint and then there is Tux Paint windowed. You go to that option. When you click on that, Tux Paint opens up. The second option is you double click on the Tux Paint icon on the desktop. When you install the icon already present on the desktop, is uh, you can um, click on that icon and the Tux Paint will open. So when it will open the first screen or the main screen you see would be something like this. It will contain five main parts which are the topic of discussion today. If you see on the left side there are tools which is known as the toolbar. Then on the center there is drawing canvas. On the right side it is selector. Below the drawing canvas there is colors palette. It is known as colors. And then the at the bottom of this main screen you see there is white area which is the help area. Now we will see one by one which are, what are these main parts used for. The first one is toolbar which is present on the left side and it contains all the drawing tools and editing tools. Just like you can see there is paint, lines, shapes, text, magic. These are different tools which are used in drawing different diagrams or figures. Next part is the drawing canvas which is present at the center of the main screen. The white area where whatever you will draw will be shown or drawn. Shapes, lines, coloring, everything you draw, your painting will be present on the drawing canvas. Next thing is the selector which is present on the right side. Whenever you select any tool, the various options for the tool are present or uh, on the right side which is known as selector. For example, in this picture if you see, on the left side the paint tool is selected and on the right side you can see different uh, types and styles of brushes. Similarly, from the left side I select the shapes tool. The right side will contain different types of shapes which I can draw using that tool. It is known as selector tool. Moving to the next tool which is next part of the main screen which is the colors palette. It is present below the drawing canvas. It is It has 18 colors. The first 17 colors are fixed whereas the 18th color can be changed. How you change that 18th color is that you click on the 18th color and it will open a color box as you can see in the picture. You can select any color of your choice and when you select it, it is shown in the 18th box on the color palette. The last part of the main screen is present at the bottom of the main screen, the white colored area where you can also see the icon of the tux plate, the penguin. Here all the tips and the information about the tool is displayed. If you select the paint tool, it shows you what the paint tool is for. If you select the shapes tool, it tells you that shapes tool is used for what purpose, information and tips about that particular tool. These are all the main parts. Let's just summarize them one time. So if you see on your left side, present is the toolbar. Different kinds of tools are there. On your right side is the selector. In the center is the drawing canvas. 
here below bottom of the uh, drawing canvas is the colors palette and then this one is the help area so these are the five main parts of the tux paint window now your class work is that you have to make sure you have already done two questions of this chapter everybody has done on the notebook if you were absent you need to complete your work the first question is what are two ways of opening tux paint as I explained this in the lecture also that it is you have to click start then go to tux paint and tux paint window and the second method is double click the tux paint icon on the desktop question two is name the five main parts of the main screen of tux paint which are toolbar drawing canvas selector colors and help area these are the five main parts we just discussed in this lecture this is all for today now your homework is that you make sure that you have done this classwork to this question one and question two on your notebook and then learn question one and question two that's all for today inshallah the next lecture for computer will be uploaded on monday have a nice day good luck allah hafiz